Section 3.5, the polygon angle sum theorems. A polygon is a closed figure in a plane which its sides has segments that intersect only at their endpoints. Adjacent sides are not collinear. In the diagram, we have a polygon and its vertices are the endpoints of the segments, here A, B, C, D. We can label the polygon or name the polygon by those vertices. We can start at any point, here I chose B, and go counterclockwise, B, C, D, A. We could also go clockwise, B, A, D, C. And I chose another example, starting at point A, going clockwise, A, D, C, B. In other words, I can start at any vertice and go clockwise or counterclockwise, but we cannot go diagonally. The sides of the polygon are the segments that make up the polygon. Here I have segment AD, AB, BC, and DC. And the angles are at the vertices, angle A, B, C, and D. I want to determine if the figure is a polygon. If not, then why? Here, I have segments that intersect only at their endpoints, but this is not a closed figure. Therefore, this is not a polygon, and it's because it's not closed. I have a figure that's in a plane, and the segments intersect only at their endpoints, and the adjacent sides are not collinear. Therefore, this is a polygon. Here I have segments that intersect at points other than their endpoints. Or I also could say, here is a segment, and here is a segment. They do intersect at their endpoints, but they are collinear. In either case, this is not a polygon. And it's because segments intersect at points other than their endpoints. This is not a polygon because it's not contained in a single plane. A diagonal of a polygon is a segment that connects two non-consecutive vertices of a polygon. In the diagram, segment BE and BD are two examples of the diagonals in polygon A, B, C, D, E. I can generate many more just by starting at a specific vertice. Here, I could select point A and create a segment to C. That's a diagonal. From A to D is a diagonal. I could not select A to E because A to E is a side of the polygon. We can identify polygons as convex or concave. We have a convex polygon when the diagonals do not have points outside of the polygon. In this diagram, I have polygon A, B, C, D, E. I've generated all the diagonals of the polygon, and all the points of the diagonals are in the interior of the polygon. Therefore, this is a convex polygon. A concave polygon has at least one diagonal that has points on the exterior of the polygon. I can create diagonals from L to other vertices, and notice those points are contained within my closed figure, the polygon. But I have one diagonal from M to N that has points on the exterior. Therefore, this is a concave polygon. We also can classify polygons by the number of sides. The smallest polygon that we have is a triangle. It has three sides. And we increase the segments. Four is a quadrilateral. Five is a pentagon. Six is a hexagon. Eight is an octagon. Nine is a nonagon. 10 is a decagon, 12 is a dodecagon, and any nth degree number of sides on a polygon is called an n-agon. Polygon angle sum theorem. The sum of the measures of an n-agon is n minus 2 times 180. n is the number of sides of a polygon. What we're trying to determine is the number of triangles that is created inside my polygon when I create one diagonal from one vertice. As you can see, I have one triangle, three minus 2 is 1, 1 times 180 is 180 degrees, but we know that from the triangle sum theorem. Here I have a four-sided figure, a quadrilateral. I have two triangles generated. 4 minus 2 is 2 times 180 is 360 degrees. I also know that I have two triangles, which is 180 plus 180, which is 360. A five-sided figure, I have a pentagon. I have one, two, three triangles. 
5 minus 2 gives me 3 times 180, which is 540 degrees. Here I have a hexagon. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, or 6 minus 2 is 4 triangles times 180. Gives me 720 degrees. On my next figure, I have an eight-sided figure. I know it's an octagon. The diagonals from one vertice creates one, two, three, four, five, six triangles, or eight minus two is six times 180, or I have 1,080 degrees. Polygon exterior angle sum theorem. The sum of the measures of the exterior angle of a polygon, one at each vertex, is 360 degrees. I have a couple of examples here. Here I have a triangle. I made up some angles on the interior, 30 degrees, 50 degrees, 100 degrees. Of course, the triangle sum theorem is 180 degrees. And if I create an extension of sides at each vertice, one at each vertice, I can create supplementary angles or a linear pair. That gives me 80, 150, and 130. The sum of those three exterior angles is 360 degrees. Again, by the polygon exterior angle theorem, in this quadrilateral, if I find the sum of each of the exterior angles, one at each vertice, I should get 360 degrees. I created angles inside of my quadrilateral, find their linear pair. When I find their sum, I do get 360 degrees. An equilateral triangle is a triangle with all sides congruent. Therefore, an equilateral polygon is a polygon with all sides congruent. An equal angular triangle is a triangle with all angles congruent. An equal angular polygon is a polygon with all angles congruent. And we know if we have an equal angular polygon, then it must be equilateral. If it's equilateral, it must be equal angular. Therefore, we have a regular polygon, which is a polygon with all sides and all angles congruent. Find the sum of the measures of each polygon. Here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have a 10-sided polygon, and using the polygon interior angle sum theorem, I'm going to get n minus 2 times 180. I have 10 sides, 10 minus 2 times 180, 8 times 180, or 1,440 degrees. Here they tell me my polygon has 502 sides. When I substitute into my formula, here I have n minus 2 times 180, 502 minus 2 gives me 500 times 180, or I have 90,000 degrees. On this example, they want me to find the missing angle measures of the polygon. Here I'm given a quadrilateral. I determine the interior angle sum, which I know is n minus 2 times 180, which gives me 360. I find the sum of the four angles, x plus x plus 90 plus 100. Simplify, I get 2x plus 190 equals 360. Subtract 190, I get 2x equals 170. And when I divide by 2, x is 85 degrees. On this example, I have a hexagon. I determine the interior angle sum, n minus 2 times 180, which gives me 720 degrees. Find the sum of the interior angles, m plus m plus 1.5m plus 1.5m plus 2m plus 2m. Simplify, I get 9m equals 720. Therefore, m is 80 degrees. When I substitute back in, I get an 80 degree angle, 80 degree angle, 1.5 times 80 is 120 degrees, 120 degrees, 2 times m is 160, and 160 degrees. In this example, they want me to find the measure of each interior and exterior angle in the polygon, then determine the interior angle sum. I'm given a regular hexagon a polygon with six sides that has all sides and all angles congruent. From the polygon exterior angle sum theorem, I know that the sum of the exterior angles must be 360 degrees. Also, I know that the interior angles each are congruent, and therefore each exterior angle, one at each vertice, must be congruent. With six congruent exterior angles, each exterior angle must be 360 divided by six, which is 60 degrees. If I generate a hexagon, I know that the exterior angle, one at each vertice, must be 60 degrees. By the definition of a linear pair, that can give me the interior angle, 
which is 120 degrees. You can now determine the angle sum a couple of ways. One, by our formula, which is n minus 2 times 180, which is going to give me 6 minus 2, or 4 times 180, which is going to give me 720 degrees. Or I know that each angle is congruent because it's regular. And I know each angle is 120 degrees. Therefore, I also could do 120 times 6, which still would give me 720 degrees. Again, they want me to find the interior, exterior, and sum of the interior angles of the polygon. I'm given a regular octagon, an eight-sided figure with all sides and angles congruent. Again, the exterior angle theorem of a polygon is 360 degrees. Since this is regular, each exterior angle, one at each vertice, is congruent. 360 divided by 8 is going to give me 45 degrees. Therefore, when I draw an octagon, I know at each vertice I have one exterior angle, and they are all congruent, and that is 45 degrees. That's my exterior angle measure. My interior angle measure is going to be the linear pair of that, or the supplement of that, which is 135 degrees. Now, I need to generate my interior angle sum by my formula, n minus 2 times 180, which is 8 minus 2, or 6 times 180, which is 1,080 degrees. Another way to do that is since all my interior angles are congruent, and I have 8 of them, would be 135 times 8, which is still 1,080 degrees. The sum of the measures of the angles of a polygon are given. Determine the number of sides n of the polygon. Here, our interior angle sum is 2,340. We know the formula to generate that, which is n minus 2 times 180. And we set that equal to the interior angle sum. Divide both sides by 180. I get n minus 2 equals 13. Add 2 on both sides. My polygon has 15 sides to generate an interior angle sum of 2,340 degrees. Here I'm given 4,860 as my interior angle sum. Set that equal to the formula. Divide by 180, I get n minus 2 is 27. Add 2 on both sides, I get a polygon with 29 sides to generate an interior angle sum of 4,860 degrees. Find the measure of each angle. Here I'm given interior angles, and they are different measures, w, z, y, and x. I can't use any formula to determine them since they're all different variables. But my exterior angles all have a variable that is common. They have x. And I know the exterior angle sum theorem tells me as long as there's one exterior angle at each vertice, their sum must be 360 degrees. Add up those exterior angle measures, set them equal to 360. When I simplify, I get 10x minus 20 equals 360. Add 20, 10x equals 380, or x equals 38. Substituting back into each exterior angle, I get 2x minus 3 equals 73. Therefore, the supplement to that is going to be 107 degrees for W. 3x minus 6 is 108. The supplement to that is 72 degrees. 4x minus 6 is 146. The supplement to that is going to be 34 degrees. And x minus 5 equals 33. And the supplement to 33 degrees is going to be 147.